Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we have some shocking surprise news that just came out last night. Um, something that nobody was expecting. We have some global first EZAs that were announced on, I think first it was announced on the global Facebook, and then they did tweet it out. So I did pull these screenshots from the official Dokkan Global Twitter account. So, <clears throat> we got a special message from the developers. It says, uh, thank you, or it says, hello all, thank you very much for watching the Dokkan Now special and for the many comments. Are you enjoying the 350 million campaign? Without further ado, here is this month's letter from the producer full of juicy details about the latest content. Now, I wonder if they're going to do this every month now and give us like little tidbits about Global because I don't know that this has been a routine thing that they've been been doing this um but i feel like lately it has been quite the regular thing right so look at this right here <laughs> so available the, for the first time in the global version of the game in extreme z battle giant ape edition so starting from october 7th which literally guys is like a week away so how hype is that like something we completely weren't expecting now we've got one week so you guys know what this means right I got to get these guys on my link leveling team and I got to start link leveling these guys. I don't know that I'm going to give them the full level 10 links, but I am going to have them all rainbowed. So um, I will have rainbow showcases out on all these guys. And um, once again, this is what I love about Dokkan. So out of nowhere, here are three dead units that have been sitting in my box that can be rainbowed that now are probably going to be absolutely ridiculous in like a week. And I'm going to be able to play with them. I'm going to be able to have fun with them. Try them out on some new teams. Uh, all these guys are on Giant 8 Power, right? So on the Grade 8 Power team with uh, Int Gogeta, you could run all three of these guys, and they might be really good. You also could run Giant Form, but Giant Form, I think, still, like, the leaders for Giant Form aren't that good right now. So we'll have to see. But I'm thinking on Int Gogeta's team, these guys could be kind of fun, right? <laughs> so we are getting the physical Grade 8 Goku, like the Dragon Ball Saga Goku. Uh, the Saiyan Saga Vegeta, and then the Saiyan Saga Raditz. This is fantastic, because all of these guys, like, they're going to buff categories that really need it. So there's a couple of things coming from this. Um, one is, is that the Vegeta and Raditz, they could be potential buffs for a Saiyan Saga team that they're trying to prepare for. And then the Dragon Ball Saga Goku, I do think they are slowly buffing the Dragon Ball Saga team. And I'm really, really excited for, like, a full, very good Dragon Ball Saga team. I would love to see a, a nice Dragon Ball Saga celebration um, to really buff that. But, like, the um, um, Super Battle Road Bulma card, the Bulma and Goku AGL card, like, their EZ8s going to be coming out soon on Global. And when you have them on a full Dragon Ball Saga team, they are absolutely busted. And this Grade 8 Go 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 Goku is, like, a real help for that, right? So, very, very excited for that. Uh, it also says they're going to hold a Giant Ape social media campaign. So... Um, they are going to give out dragon stones and items based on clears in the social media campaign. They're probably going to have us like retweet stuff, Facebook, like Facebook posts, things like that, right? Now there's a third page here where it was something else totally unrelated. So they are promoting a new Super Saiyan God Blue Goku that it, they're coming out with a new figure. And apparently Dragon Ball is going to have a booth at New York Comic Con and they want to promote this Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku figure. So they're upon login on October 7th, yep, so the same day that the uh, EZAs come out, everybody's going to get a free sticker, and from my understanding here, it looks like it can be used on any blue Goku in the game. So go ahead guys, start planning out, figure out which blue Goku you like the best, and plan to have a free sticker to put on a blue Goku. That's very awesome, I'll have to look and see which blue Gokus I have without a sticker. And I'll have to pick one for that. So that's another piece that I haven't heard people talk about um, that have like already reported on the new units. But obviously, <laughs> the big thing is the EZAs, right? So let's go ahead and hop into my game. And we're going to take a look at these units here. And we are going to see what potentially they could do. It's very hard to figure out, right? So if we look at the unit, right? So the leader skills I don't think are going to be relevant. They will just give them a similar re leader skill, but they'll up the numbers. Like this Vegeta, it'll probably be AGL 3 key. And I bet they'll do like HP attack and defense 90% or HP attack and defense 100%. Something like that, right? Now they could do something like with the Ginyu Force. They could add a category on, right? So if they want to be really nice, they could maybe make him like a, 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 a giant form 77% lead or something. But if they give him a category, it's probably only going to be like 77 percent right um 
The super attack effect literally could be anything, right? It just causes supreme damage to the enemy. So, I mean, we could look at other Vegetas and see what other Vegetas do. Um, but it's it's really like great eight, giant ape Vegeta. Like they would probably treat him different than a totally base Vegeta. So I it really could be anything, right? They could make him a defensive stacker. Like he's definitely going to get something on super, right? So he could raise attack and defense. It could be for three turns. Could be one turn with like a massive raise. Um, it's really up in the air what it could be, right? And then here with the passive, it's just attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 80% or less. That's it. So it's not much to go off of. My guess what they're going to do with this Vegeta is they will at a bare minimum give him a really good attack and defense on sort of turn, and then they will give him an additional attack and defense uh, when his HP is 80% or less. So they might actually just keep that attack and defense 70% when HP is less than 80%. But then just give him like a fat like 120, 150 attack and defense on sort of turn. And then maybe add some other fun stuff to his kit, right? Now in terms of the Great Ape transformation, all it is, is they just have like a chance of turning into a giant ape two times. I believe this is only like a 25 or 30% chance. So there's a couple things that could happen here. They could, and, and guys, I think this is the first EZA we've had of a Great Ape unit, right? So that's kind of exciting. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are the first Great Ape units to get EZAs. So they could set a completely new precedent here, right? They could. Um, obviously, they could increase the chance. Maybe they could make it 50% chance. Maybe as a new precedent, they could allow them to transform up to three times. That's never been done before, right? Um, that could be a thing as well. Something I do hope that they do is that when they go, you can see right here, there's just like these giant apes they have no effects they have nothing right so i think at bare minimum they've got to give all of these guys some type of passive when they're in giant ape form to help them super more like something to give them key right so i think all of these units are going to get a passive in giant ape form which will be very useful right um let's look at kid goku so kid Go goku is just an all types lead so once again they'll probably keep that and just do like key three all stats like 70 percent maybe 90%, something like that. Just a nice free-to-play skill. Or, once again, they could throw a category on. Maybe they give them Youth or Dragon Ball Saga and make them 77%. They could do that as well. Once again, the super attack effect, there's really no telling what it is. If we look at, like, the Int Kid Goku, like, he does, I think, have a chance to stun. So they could give this Goku, like, stunning or sealing. That's a possibility. So his passive is 80% at the start of turn, and then he just gets great hit when conditions are met, right? So literally, these old units, they used to be just like a flat attack passive, and that was about it. So there's really no telling what they could do with this Goku. They probably will do something where he gets a nice, like, maybe 120% attack and defense at start of turn. Then maybe he gets, like, attack 59% when something happens, and then another attack 59% when something happens. They like to do 59 with Goku, because that sounds like Goku in Japanese. So, um, and 5-9, like, May 9th is Goku Day, so that's why they do 59 a lot with Goku. They do 58s a lot with Gohan, because that's uh, May 8th, which is Gohan Day. Um, so, they, they probably will do some 5-9 stuff in there, we'll see. And then his giant ape just has a chance up to two times. So once again... Same as the Vegeta, I think they will add some type of passive on there. They could make it so he could transform three times, uh, maybe make it an increased chance. And then we got Strength Raditz. So his leader skill is very weird. <laughs> when HP is 30% or above, key three and attack and defense plus 30%. And I think that is just to himself. I don't even think that's for the party. I don't know. It's very bad. So Raditz needs a complete overhaul on the leader skill if they're going to make it usable. So once again, maybe they make him like low class lawyer, uh, low class warrior, seventy-seven percent, something like that. That could work. Um, once again, supreme damage, but no like other effect there. Um, and then his passive is attack and defense twelve percent per key sphere obtained. So the other Raditz we have, we have a couple of other Raditzes in the game. So we have the Ant Raditz, who's like an AOE. So they could keep this nuking passive, but then they could also like make him AOE on top of that. Or if they follow more the tech Raditz, the tech Raditz has like stunning and sealing, which I do think there's a very good chance they'll give this Raditz more like the stunning and sealing route, I think would make more sense than the AOE route. So I do think that's a possibility. Um, because he's a nuker, if they made this Raditz, dude, if they made him an orb changer, that would be really good because like the, the great ape power team would need something like that or the giant ape team would need that, the giant form team. 
that would be really good. And the thing that's cool about that is if you make this guy a nuke or orb changer, right? When he transforms into his giant ape, he could keep that orb changing, and then that's going to help him get the key in giant ape form. So I definitely think that could be a very cool thing. Look at this art, by the way. Like, we, I've never even, like, went and looked at these giant ape art, the giant ape artworks. Raditz actually looks kind of cool, like, his ape form. I mean, ignore the crappy prism in the background, but, like, that's a pretty dope-looking giant ape card. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh, you know what? I just thought about something. I just did a sticker video, and I'm going to want to put stickers on these guys. Like, I don't know, there would be, like, no sticker effect here, though, right? Like, there's literally nothing for the sticker to do. So I'm curious what the sticker is going to look like on the Giant 8 version. This version, though, this sticker could look really dope because you got all that, like, lightning in the background. He's got a little aura around him. Oh, man, I'm going to have to. Well, here's the thing. We just have Chain Battle going right now, and I think I already got one sticker for the 1 billion reward. I am going to get top 1%. I'm pretty sure there's another sticker in there. So, and I saved one sticker, so I might be able to squeeze out three stickers for these guys. I think I do want to sticker these guys up, though. They're going to look pretty awesome. So, anyways, guys, I'm pretty hyped for these new Great Ape units, just like out of nowhere. Is this a hint for things to come? Are they trying to buff categories? Th the question now is... We're getting this as like a weird global first thing. Well, now when's JP going to get this? Uh, we were doing pretty good at like having joint celebrations, right? And the global first stuff just always messes with things. And I love that we did the GT leaders together for Golden Week because that normally isn't a joint celebration. But now that we're getting this, like how is this going to change the timeline with JP? I don't know, guys. Uh, it, it, they could just be doing global stuff at a very different time this year. Maybe for like Christmas, we'll do a global first again. I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this. Um, I'll get videos out in about a week when they come out. I'll get some rainbow showcases out on them. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one.